Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome today. Welcome to this Q&A in five minutes with me, Jason. So today I'm going to answer this question right now, which I was sent. Uh, and someone was saying, how can a loving God uh, send his child to hell? That was basically kind of like the question to say he does not believe and he wants me to explain how can God, who is love, send his child or send someone to hell, which is a place of uh, death and all that. He says he doesn't believe that God can send to hell if he is love. Okay, so I'm going to answer your question and I'm going to start the timer now. Okay, so let's go to Psalms chapter 9 from verse number 16. Right. It says, the Lord is known by the judgment he executes. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Think on that. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all nations that forget God. Hallelujah. So what I need you to understand is that God is righteous. He's our father. When you are born again, you receive Jesus Christ. He's your father. You are born again. You are saved, right? And he is your father, yes. But after that, you have to live that righteous life. You cannot forsake the Lord and forsake his ways and expect, oh, everything is fine. No, you have to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, isn't it? So it's not like as if God sends people to hell or a loving father sends people to hell. It is the actions of a person which decides whether they will live forever in the presence of God or away from the presence of God. And it's a choice. It's a choice by our lives and by our hearts, right? And where do I get that from? Let me just give you an example, okay? Let's say you are a father, you have a child, you love that child so much, but your child goes out and commit murder. What will the nation's justice system do? Even if you are the judge, maybe you are part of the lawmaking, you are a father, and there comes your child, they've committed murder. What does the nation's justice system do? Even if you are part of the judiciary, you know that that child has to go and serve a sentence for the crime they've committed. So it's the same with our Heavenly Father. He loves all. He says that, you know, I think it's a second Peter, he says that the Lord is not slack concerning His promise, but is long-suffering, patient, desiring that all shall come to repentance. But if someone does not live a righteous life, then they cannot live with a righteous God. And a righteous life is receiving Jesus Christ and following His ways. You understand that? So just as how an earthly father can have a son, they do not send their son to jail. They do not desire to send their son to jail. But your son, I'm sure even some out there, you've got relatives or people who you know who, you, who are in prison. Did you send them to prison? No, you did not. So hell is just like a prison. It's a place of punishment. But the only difference is eternal punishment. So you do not desire to send your child to hell or to send anyone to hell, but it is their actions which causes them to receive what they deserve for what they paid for. You understand that? Okay, my time is running off. So let's have a look at this. Matthew 12 verse 30, Jesus said that he that is not with me is against me and he that does not gather with me scatters abroad. You understand that? So you, we have to be on the side of God. You cannot say I'm saved and then you continue living a wicked life. It doesn't work like that. When you're saved with Christ, you have to continue with him, right? And Luke chapter 12 from verse number 14, Jesus said, I say unto you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that have no more power that they can, no more that they can do. But I show you who you shall fear. Fear him who after he has killed has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say unto you, fear him. Hallelujah. And then he goes on further down and he says that, and I say to you, whosoever confesses me before men, him will, I, him will the son of man also confess before the angels of God. But whosoever denies me before men will also be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the son of man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him. So Jesus said, if you confess me before man, that is salvation. Receiving Jesus as Lord, you'll be accepted by the Father. But if you do not, then you will be rejected by the Father. And then Revelation chapter 3 verse number 5 says, He that overcomes, the same will be clothed with, in white raiment, and will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his holy angels. So what is the book of life? I, I believe that is the book of salvation. When you receive Christ, your name is written down, that you are born again. You receive the righteousness of God as a gift, isn't it? He says, if you overcome, you will not be blotted out. So that is to continue in the ways of God. And then Revelations, let me just read here. Uh, it says, Revelations 20 from verse 12. 
It says, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cut, cast into the lake of fire. So someone who is not found written in the book of life, is cast into the lake of fire. So God does not cast anyone. It's like someone desires. What do they desire? If they desire worldly things, that's what they get. That's hell. If they desire the presence of God here on earth, that's what they get. That's what they'll live. If you cannot love the presence of God here on earth, okay, my time has gone up. If you cannot love the presence of God and the things of God here on earth, you will not love them eternally. So the Lord will not put you in hell to be with him. But that what you desire, you desired an unjust, wicked, drunken, fornication life, sinful life. That is the place of hell. But if you desire the love of God, his presence, following his way, you'll be with him eternally. Okay. I kind of like went over time, but I trust that I answered your question. Just watch it over and over because I tell you that the scriptures are there and my explanation is there on that answer. Okay, so God doesn't send anyone to hell. It's a choice, a decision which people make. Hallelujah. And he has the keys to hell and to death. I just have to put that in there. So he can rescue anyone out. So technically, you know, you can say he's sending people, but he actually does not because people make that choice. It's like he's a just God. That's what he has to do. Okay. So I've answered that question. I'm kind of like going over time. But anyway, um, if you're blessed by this, subscribe. Send me your questions. I'll answer them in under five minutes. That's what I try and do here. Okay. Every Tuesday, I bring testimonies, amazing testimonies. Every Wednesday, I bring you the word. Friday, I upload the answers to your questions. Hallelujah. So have a blessed day. I love you so much. Remember, your heavenly Father, he loves you even more. If you have not yet received Jesus Christ, you want your name written in the book of life, say the prayer to follow. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you haven't received salvation in Jesus Christ, say this prayer with me right now. Just say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. I believe that you died for me and that you rose from the dead. I declare that I am saved and born again. I am your child. In Jesus' name, amen. Subscribe and follow on social media platforms, on YouTube, The Word of Truth, Jason Paul Pullen, on all your podcasting platforms, The Word for Today with Jason Pullen, Spotify, Audible, Acast, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can also follow us on Instagram, the Word of Truth JC. You can follow us on Facebook, The Word of Truth JC. You can follow us on Twitter at The Word of Underscore Truth. There's free books available in the link below as well as on Amazon.com. If you'd like to partner with me, you can go to PayPal, paypal.me forward slash jpj or via scroll jpjs at gmail.com. Send an email, The Word of Truth Publications at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Amen.